All right, guys. Um, good evening again. All right, so we just want to talk about retrospectives. I know we did a couple of um, simulations. Um, I mean, also just for your information, guys, you can, there's a section on the website that is called simulations. You can go watch um, some actual um, videos from like a third party company where we got it from. And you will see uh, teams actually do this demos of the scrum ceremony. So we tried to do some virtually over here at on Becoming Agile. I think we did refinement and sprint planning, um, but it's not for us to necessarily demo, um, but you can see it on the board. I'm sharing um, my screen right now. And for those who remember the simulations that we did, uh, we started a sprint, you know, we did a refinement, we started a sprint, we did sprint planning and all of that. So that was like two weeks ago. So this sprint was supposed to have ended yesterday, right? This is just to show you that, you know, on your team as a scrum master, um, let me see if it's gonna come out. On your team as a scrum master, right? Um, you as a scrum master are responsible for ending the sprint, right? You start the sprint, you also end the sprint. This is a typical example of how the sprints actually look like, right? Uh, most of the time, work is not closed. There's going to be some items in progress. Sometimes you might even see some items in to-do because there's no guarantee that your team will finish their work, right? It's just an estimate. There could have been some impediments or blockers in the middle of the sprint that, you know, um, did not allow your team complete the work that they committed to during sprint planning. So this happens, right? So don't be worried as a scrum master. Over time, your team will have, will have an established velocity, right? So what happens on either the last day of the sprint or the day of demo. In some companies, they do um, review, but that's the demo. They do it on the last day of the sprint. Some do it on the first day of the, of, of the next sprint. And then later in the day, the team will do sprint planning. It's done differently in each company. So just don't worry and think, oh, I'm becoming, I just said this, so you guys must do it that way. No, uh, some companies do it on the last day of the sprint. Some people do it on the first day of the next sprint, however that sprint calendar is. But one thing you need to know is Scrum Master, you have to ask your team what's going on on the board, right? Not all the work will be done, but you guys have to demo some, right? So you guys will demo the items maybe in done or accepted, right? So it's easy for us to just move things over. The product owner would have accepted the story. So the team are done working on it, they move it to done. And then the product owner goes ahead to move it to accepted, right? And um, there might be items, you know, still pending in the testing lane and progress lane, even sometimes in to-do lane. So I want to show you two things that could happen. So typically, if you want to end a sprint like this, right, you hit complete sprint. It's going to, it's going to tell you that you cannot complete it because there are some items that, uh, okay, there's some, some subtask, okay, BBM 10, oh, inside here. So if there's some subtask and it's not closed, Jira will not allow you to close the story and close the sprint. So you have to complete all of these subtasks. So I did that now. So if I attempt to close the sprint now, to complete the sprint or close the sprint, same thing. It's going to ask me, okay, I need to refresh them. What's the same with VM10 again? Did I not close those items? Let's see again. All right. So what happens is when you try to complete the sprint, it's going to ask you, Jira will automatically ask you what to do with the um, incomplete items, right? The items that are still on the board, right? If you can see, we have a couple of items showing in, uh, let me cancel. You can see we have something in testing. We have one in progress, right? So it's going to let us know that we have some open items. This should go to close. Okay, this is acting up. But anyway, so it's going to tell you there's some items that are um, incomplete, right? So we have this claiming we have three open items. So it will by default give you the opportunity to either send it back to the backlog, to the product backlog, or it will create a new sprint. So this sprint is called sprint one. So by default, at the end of one sprint, you go to the next sprint. So it will take you to sprint two. 
if I wanted it to spill over to sprint two. Now let me look at an ideal situation where we actually will close this this sprint. Let's see if I can shut if I can close all these user stories. It will let me close. I don't know why this BBM a ten. Yeah, all the stories are closed, right? All the tasks come in. It's supposed to allow me to close this. I don't know why. I'm going to have to do something wrong here. But anyways, um, so if I try to complete the sprints, it's going to say there's one open item. So I'm going to, by default, let me just let this thing spill over. I'll send it to the backlog. So I'll hit, I'll send it to the backlog. This issue, there's something wrong. I don't know why it's saying I can't close it. Anyways, you're going to click on complete sprint and then it completes that sprint, right? So that uh, BBM 10 will go into the product backlog, right? That incomplete story. So as a Scrum Master, where you're going to find the sprint metrics is under report, right? There's a reporting tab and you go to report and you go to, you can do the uh, velocity report, right? And this sprint, we just concluded sprint one. It means we committed to, in the beginning of sprint planning, we committed to 18 story points. But remember, we didn't, we didn't finish everything. I sent one story to the backlog. So commitment versus completed. So we completed 15. So we committed to 18 at the beginning of sprint planning. We only finished 15 because the three point story spilled over, right? So these are some of the metrics that Scrum Master you need to let your team know, right? What you commit versus what you completed, right? We can commit in the beginning of sprint planning, but our true velocity is what we completed. So in this situation, the team's velocity is 15, not 18, what they co committed to, but what they completed is their velocity, right? So that's showing you that. Uh, so this are uh, where in Jira, the most important metric is usually the um, velocity chart, right? In some places, it's called um, sprint report. Some call it velocity report. And it's Jira, same Jira, but different names, right? So and these are other reports, not necessarily important right now. Um, but what's important to use the velocity report, right? At the end of the sprint. So yeah, um, just want to show you how. And this is a product backlog again. So if your team is planning for sprint planning the next for the next sprint, there's sprint two already open. So on sprint planning day, you guys will just bring stories from the product backlog here, you know, things like that. So you know, Jira, Jira is intuitive, like this drag and drop. You can bring it up, you know. So during sprint planning, your team will plan for all of that. So now I just showed you guys how to complete the sprint. So when you're done completing the sprint, obviously um, it happens maybe before demo day or after demo, right? Your team would have decided what they're going to demo. Remember as a Scrum Master, you come up with the agenda, right? What are the things your, your team would demo? Right? It's not everything that you guys commit to, you will complete. So whichever ones that you guys complete is what you want to demo. And I mean, safe says you can even demo incomplete stories, right? But most times it's what you completed that you want to demo. And of course the demo is with a larger audience, with stakeholders and whatnot. And uh, we will just show working software, right? We're not going to demo Jira. You're not going to show them Jira, right? You as a Scrum Master, you start the meeting, invite everybody, welcome everyone. Your agenda is basically a script. Welcome everybody. Hey, welcome to Sprint One Demo. Um, today, Femi is going to demo the splash screen. Fumi is going to demo the forum page. Taiwo is going to demo the login page and things like that, you know? And that's it. And they'll take over. The people will share their screen. They'll take over. Um, very common now, you record a demo. Since we are working remote, you tell everyone, I'm about to record. Whenever you want to record anybody on a call, you always give a disclaimer. Let them know that you're about to record, right? So you tell them I'm about to record the session and they'll be fine with it. And then you hit record, right? Because some, some people might not be able to attend the demo. So you want to create a recording of that so you can share with everyone after the demo, right? And then when you're done with the demo, of course, you ask any questions, give the people, stakeholders might have questions for the team or feedback for the team. Some people might need more clarity. You make sure everybody's fine with it. You're also monitoring the time, right? Remember everything is time boxed. So you're monitoring the time, making sure that you're not going over time. And um, if everyone is fine, no other questions, you can uh, dismiss everyone and end the call. And now internally, 
of course, you and your team will regroup. In some companies, uh, after the demo, again, remember your meetings are scheduled. Maybe you, you ended your demo five minutes to the top of the hour or whatever. Some people do it back to back, right? After demo, teams will go to the next meeting, they do that retro. You might give your team one hour um, break or time, not break, but you don't want to schedule it back to back, right? So maybe we do the demo from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., right? You finish the demo 9.55. You don't want a meeting immediately after, right? So you might schedule your demo for 11 to 12 or from 10.30 to 11.30 or something like that. So I said demo, your retrospective, right? So after demo 9 to 10, you don't want to schedule your retro for 10 to 11. So you might do 10.30 to 11.30 or, you know, 11 to 12, something like that. And of course, um, you know, for retro, there are tools we use for retro. And um, we will go into that. So I guess that is all for ending the sprint and completing the sprint in Jira. I'm going to pass it on to Fumi, who's going to demo, who's going to show us, I don't know why I'm using demo so much, who's going to show us um, retro and uh, how to facilitate, how to conduct a retrospective. So over to you, Fumi. Thank you, Femi. Um, all the developers, are you guys in the house? Please unmute yourself and... Let's know if you're here. Sure, we're here. Yeah, I'm here. All right, cool. All right, so what? Why do we do retrospective? What What is the idea being behind doing a retrospective? So, for retrospective, it's an, another opportunity to inspect our people, processes, the tools. There are three unique questions that are going to be answered when you do a retrospective. What did we do well? What can we improve upon? And then what are the action items that we can take out of there? But before we start a retro, let's break the ice. Let's have a little bit of fun with the team. Let them, let's get them relaxed before we start the retro. So for all the developers, I am going to share this link on the chat and we're gonna have a quick icebreaker. All right, please. Log in. All right, I do see one person in. Sorry for me, am I part of the developers? Was that Yeti? Yes. yes. You can join the developers. Yeah, you joined the last time. Okay. All right, Samuel, Shem, Crucifix, Aditola, Yeti. So this tool is called Mentimeter. It's one of the tools that you can use for collaboration. You can use it for fun. It has a lot of fun things that you can use for your team. And there are a lot of other ones too, but this is one that I always enjoy using. And then when, once your team joins, on the bottom right, you would see how many people have joined the link. I see four people now, I'm waiting for one more person. And then we'll start. Great, so if you're joining us with your computer, you can use your phone. If you're joining with your phone, you can find out, maybe use a computer so you can see the screen and answer the questions. All right, we're gonna start. Yeah, I see the last person. I joined, I joined too, no, just because I'm curious, okay. you know. I, I haven't used this tool before and I like it. Okay, um, cool. Can you, just, can you just take my place? Because I'm having a hard time trying to figure this out on my computer. Are you serious? Use your phone. Okay, okay. I'll do that. All right, no problem. All right, and I can give I mean, one fast, yeah? I'm having trouble joining. <laughs> Did you use, just use the link that I put on the on the chat. It's going to ask you for a pin. <laughs> all right join it's going to ask you for a, a code this is the code you're going to mentimeter.com and then use this code mine is not allowing me asking any code here are you are you joining mentimeter you click the link directly they're not going to ask for a code right just so use I the link i put on the chat i'm in already anyway i can see quiz rule okay, cool. Another. cool so these are the rules for the game Look at the image shown before each question. Presenter will show you the image for 10 to 20 seconds. 
answer the question about the image fastest correct answer get the most points let's start All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, I see everyone. You're not playing, can you see the answer? <laughs> All right, so four people got it right, chopsticks. <laughs> Let's see who won that round. All right, Clippy. Okay, next round. I think that's me for me. <laughs> next round. So people got it right. Okay. All right, David's wants this round, next round. All right, cool, Portuguese. Let's see who's winning this round. So it's always fun because a lot of people will collaborate. They will talk about it. They will chat. They will laugh about it. All right, Clippy got this round. Clippy, I suspect you've played this game before. <laughs> You just need to pay attention to what you see. It was black. Uh -uh. Femi has vexed though. Uh -uh. Okay, Femi's leading. David is right behind you. All right, thank you for paying attention. Let's see who our winner is. Please, who's David? <laughs> who is David? <laughs> David's. Who's David? I'm here. David? I'm here. Oh, 
Have you played this game before? You are suspect. <laughs> No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> it's me that has even played it too. I was just there allowing people to win, Seth. <laughs> so this is the tool. It's called Mentimeter. It has a lot of fun challenge, a lot. See, you can use it for happy hour. You can use it for your retros. It has a lot of details. Weather, movies, see, Game of Thrones, things that will be fun just to generate fun. And a lot of developers like to play games. So they're see video console quiz so many things that you can use it for so there's a free version just fyi all right thank you all for participating and thank you Femi, for winning this round so for retros there are different tools one of the tools that we can use is called ideas boards it's free easy to use so if you want to use this for a retro you don't even need to log in if you want you can actually create an account if you want to but you don't need to log in. Once you just put ideas board, you just create your own board and you share the URL with your team. We're gonna call this. And then this board actually comes with already pre-written ideas for retro. You can use any of this and you could create yours. We're gonna use the regular one that we all know as retro. So we see it has already generated what you need, what went well, what can we improve upon and what are the action items? You click that you're not a robot and then you just create. Simple, easy, straightforward. All you do is copy the URL and then I'm gonna put that on the chats. So, for everyone, you just click on that URL and then you have access to the board. We're gonna write what went well. We're gonna write what can be improved upon and then we're gonna talk about our action items. So you're trying to study for, to become a Scrum Master. What challenges are you saying? What is going well? What can be improved upon? Now we have an opportunity to put it on the board. So go ahead, punch it in. And I can also type to, if something went well, I could just put my own comment there to say, it stays on the board. So we could just punch in what went well, what's going well, what do you think you can improve upon? And then we're gonna talk about the action items. So even if you don't have a team, but you're studying, so what are the things that are going on well for you? Is your daily studying going well? Yes. New laptops, team, new, new macros.
All right, we'll just give you one more minute. So as you can see on the board, you'll see that um, a couple of teams might have the same, they might talk about the same thing. So when we're talking about it, it would just be one. For example, teams should keep to timing, timing of, of daily stand-up. So when they're talking about it, if it's the same thing, then we just have that one conversation. But if it's different, then we have them separately. So we're gonna start talking about them now. So thank you everyone. Um, first of all, I wanna say amazing, amazing job this spring for being excellent. Without you guys, we wouldn't have been able to deliver this excellent increment that we've done. So we'll talk about what happened the previous retro, um, talk about the action items there first before we come into the current um, retrospective. So we'll talk about also the two action items that we did choose for last retro. You can read it out and say, hey, were we able to deliver on this? People that are accountable for it. So oh, yes, we did, we did this. This one is still pending, but it has to be a continuous effort on the team. So you talk about the action items from the previous retrospective before you start the new retrospective to see if they're able to deliver value on the previous one. Then we'll start this new one. What went well? Um, thank you for continuous collaboration and teamwork. So I already said that to the team. Then we're talking about our daily standups were prompt and we kept the time. So because I, I always like the team to have conversation about it, I just don't want you to drop it on the board. I would ask to say, hey, can we talk about this? And then whoever dropped it on the board will pick it up and talk about it. So that way, everyone has something to say. It's not just going to be a copy and paste kind of um, retrospective. So I do see our daily stand-up were prompt and we kept the time. If it's something else that is really, really thing that we need to talk about, the person will talk about it. And then I'm gonna, I collided with on becoming agile. Amazing, do you wanna talk about this? Give us insights on how this happened. So who wrote that? You wanna talk about it? Yes, um, I, I, I noticed that we, we are on time, we get into the meetings right before our time, which is set at 9 a.m. And then we go straight to the point, each person gives their updates and then we move forward um, like that. And if we need have parking lot, we just go, into parking lot and the people stay behind if they need further clarification. But overall, you know, we were prompt. We were there to do what we were there to do and we're out, so. So thank you for sharing. Kudos to the team. Any other person has any additional thing they wanna to add to that before we move on? All right, team. Um, stakeholders interaction was superb at the review. Oh, so let's talk about it. All right, I'm guessing someone wrote about the stakeholders interaction was superb about the review. Do you wanna talk about it? Okay, so we're gonna talk about Improved my knowledge on the mural board. That's amazing. You want to talk about it? I bet someone wrote that thing on the board. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, it's me. All right, let's talk about it. Yeah, um, we did a few things on mural today and um, I saw a better way of doing it. Marty had been teaching me, but today was more like I, after our breakout sessions and all the meetings we had, I just went there and I was playing with it and I was like, okay, it's not that hard. It's just playing around it and you have a hang of it. So. Thanks for sharing. So the kudos, I already gave the kudos earlier for an amazing increment this sprint. Now we're gonna move on to what can be improved upon. New laptops and team needs MacBook Pro. All right, let's talk about it. Why do we need MacBook Pros? Well, it's me just playing around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the company should invest in MacBook Pro because we're trying to use a Windows computer. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> so I will speak to the management and I'll let the team know what management says about it. Um, more applications. Who wrote that? Let's talk about it. Bringing new priorities items after we started the sprint. Yes, let's talk about that. All right, unmute yourself. So I realized that after we had refined um, our backlog and we have already sculpted out our spring goal, um, in the middle of the spring, our PO brought the changes to a particular user story that needed to be prioritized while we're already in the middle of the sprint. So I feel like we can do better by ensuring that, you know, we don't have those distractions where we have to try and go back and forth to try and drop whatever we're doing to begin another work entirely. So that's why I wrote that. Thank you for bringing that up. Who's gonna add to what Aditola has said on this new priority? How are we gonna move forward from here? Product owner. All right, so because the product owner is also part of the retrospective, we're gonna have a conversation on this. New priorities, there's so many things that can happen when you bring new priorities when the sprint has already started. It can demoralize the team. The story might still need to be refined. The team might not really know much about the story. It would affect the velocity that they have planned for that sprint. So, so many conversations need to happen. So if you bring this kind of conversation to the retro, the product owner is there, the team is voicing out their opinion. Product owner will say, okay, moving forward, we'll talk about what the action item will be in a few. So that's just a, a few of the conversations that can happen between the team and the product owner. Um, timing for the daily standup. Who wrote that? Let's talk about it. Hi, that was me. Mm -hmm. um, just because recently I moved and the timing what we do at 9 a.m. doesn't kind of work for me because now I'm on the West Coast. So if you can move it to something that probably will be like 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock my time because 9 a.m. my time is literally 6 a.m. Okay. You're throwing it open to the team. So for yeah. example, say for example, you have, you have to give it tangible, not just that because you moved. For example, okay. if, you, if you're taking your kid to school at that same time, say you're, you're not going to be available because you're taking your kid to school at that time, you can throw it open to the team. And then we'll talk about it at Retro to say, hi guys, is it okay if we accommodate our team member who's taking her, her daughter or her son to school at the same time that we have um, daily stand-up? The team can decide right there and then to say, okay, we can move it to to like 9.30 or we can move it to a time that will favor everyone together. So that's a very good um, conversation that was brought up this retro. So we're gonna talk about it and then pick up the action item moving forward. Um, team should keep to timing. Let's talk about this. Well, I'm the one that's put that one down. That uh, It's just a kind of reminder for everyone to know uh, that they are all are meeting at time box. So for the sprint planning, it's gonna be a four hours for a two week sprint. The uh, daily scrum is 15 minutes. The um, review is uh, two hours. The retro is uh, one and a half hours. Just a, a kind of reminder for everybody to keep to timing so that we don't prolong things. Okay, I have a question for you. So are you saying that your teams have been running late? on this meetings? Well, one or two of them, I'm new anyway. So one or two of them, let me say one or two of them, one or two of them have been running late. So it's kind of a reminder for them to okay. keep to, to the timing. Okay. Because cool. everything is time boxed. Mm -hmm. Because you have a context to the reason why we're putting this on the retro. And trust me, nobody's going to do four hours spring planning. Okay. Nobody's going to do four hours <laughs> spring planning. Nobody. Okay. Because you've done backlog refinement. I know you're new. By the time mm -hmm. you watch the previous videos on the portal, you'll help you understand 
the timing for a real life scenario and a timing for textbook scenario. Okay. Yeah. But thanks for thanks for joining and putting it in. Thank you. No All no right. Welcome. Need more help with executing some difficult task. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, after um, my build, okay, there's always a, a review. And uh, for the review, it takes approximately like uh, two or three people um, to do the review before I trigger my build. Mm -hmm. you know? So at times, it might just be one person available at a point in time just to review. And there's no way I can trigger the build until I get like two other people to review that before I can go ahead. So at times it takes more of my time. I need to keep waiting, trying to like signal one or two members of the team to review that. And that takes more of my time and it's not really good. Okay. Um, I have a question. Do you have designated people who have to approve your codes? No, we don't have designated people. What we do is that we have a, a, a platform. You know, once you, you're about to trigger a build, you need to paste it there. They just, uh, somebody can just stumble into it, review review, review, and um, once like two, three people are able to review that and they are good, then you proceed and um, uh, trigger the build. So that's okay. how it goes. Okay, Obi, can you tell people what build means? Build is like uh, you've written your code and everything. You've made some changes in the code uh, based on the story you're working on. So you've built the code, you've made changes and everything. So before you actually uh, trigger that to see if it's gonna give you a green build, Okay, you need to allow someone else to review that to see that uh, it's uh, those changes are right and everything is good before you trigger. Because if you don't do that and you trigger it, okay, it's still the chances of it going on green is going to be kind of minimal. So, but when somebody else looks into it and reviews that and uh, reviews it, uh, maybe second and third person goes through it again to reviews and they say yes, it's cool. And it's good for you to go ahead and trigger because why we try and avoid that is because once you trigger that, it takes approximately for each build, it takes approximately two to three hours before it goes through. So that's a whole lot of time. So if it goes and at the end of the day, it's error, okay, that means you wasted on approximately like three hours on this. So it's always good for someone else to review, okay, so that you don't keep wasting time triggering the build and going front and back. Okay, so that's why it's always good for like two or three people to review that before you trigger the build. All right, thank you for explaining. So it's just technical terms. Yeah. That's what it is. It's just technical terms for, for coding. But we'll get into that if we, we'll talk about it much later. Thank you for sharing. Um, staying for parking lot, someone threw that back. You want to talk about it? Okay, that's off. <laughs> so what is your rationale behind the staying for parking lots? So you're, 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 you're far away from your mic, so we can't even hear you. Oh, yeah, use the headphones or something. You want to get out of it. It sounds very far. Is it better now? Is that better? Uh, I can hear you though, but it still sounds far. Oh my goodness. I don't know. That's, this is better. Okay. All right. Sorry. So I was trying to say that I just wanted to feel like I'm a part of this whole thing. So I had to do something. <laughs> and the last couple of times that I've been on this platform, I have not stayed for parking lot because <laughs> the one time I was at Madame T's house and I had to drive back home. And another time, I think my very first time, I thought that there was a lot of prolonged conversation. Uh, so I, I want to say I got impatient, which I shouldn't really be, but it was my first time. Okay. It's okay. It can be overwhelming sometimes. So, and we're human. So we take that. All right. Um, now that we have written what went well and we have also reaching what we can improve upon. We now need to take at least two action items that we can work with for the future sprint. So we're gonna vote. Which of those items that we need to improve upon are we going to vote as an action item?
Coach Fumi, I have a question, please, before you uh, will vote. Okay. I see that on the board, um, a lot of the items have zero, mm -hmm. and a couple on the what went well has one, and on the what can be improved also has one. What is the difference? Why, why were they scored that way? So someone wrote the first, um, our daily stand-up was prompt and we kept to time. Rather than someone duplicating the same thing, they voted on it to say, hey, I can call to this. Same with the timing for the daily stand-up too as well. Okay, thank yes. you. You're welcome. Mr. Razak, your hand is up. Yes, I, I just have a question that uh, maybe, maybe I should wait till uh, you are done with the action items first. Okay, all right. All right, team. Which of the action items are we voting for? The priority one. So let's talk about bringing in a new priority. New priority. And the timing of daily stand up to accommodate the edit. Okay. All right, we're going to need someone to take ownership of this. Which of the timing? Timing, keeping to time or daily stand up time? The 80 zone, okay. All right. Okay, so we're going to. Someone else brought Jack with it. All right, so we're going to keep to time. We're going to change time to suit to see if the team is going to allow us change time because of Yeri's issue. And then bringing priority. These are the two things we're going to work on for next sprint. So I like to do something else that gets everybody talking at the end of the retro. I'm going to ask, give kudos to that team member that supported you during this sprint. So you can unmute yourself and give kudos to that team member. I like to give kudos to Yeti because um, even with the time difference that she had, she was um, available to help me out with um, some of the questions I had regarding some codes, um, some test cases I wanted to write. So thank you, Yeti. <laughs> You're welcome. Great job. You're welcome. Who's going next? Who are you giving kudos to? Who supported you throughout this sprint? Wow. 89 people and nobody's giving kudos to anybody. Oh, I raised Wait, my can I go ahead? Oh, you can go ahead because I can't really see who's raising their hand. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Oh, me or him? Wait, Femi, can you help me with that? Well, I think Razak, but I think it's for later. Anyways, the, the goal is just for no, us to have some content. Right? Not, yeah, that the yeah, not, not for the question now. Yeah. What, what, what uh, for me was, I, mean, I even got, I got confused myself because I felt it was just a developer team that you, you were supposed to talk. Exactly. I needed more people to help. <laughs> but yeah, she, she, she's throwing it out to the rest of the of becoming agile people then. Mm -hmm. You have any kudos to anyone on the platform? Go ahead. Well, I, I have a kudos to Mamati. You know, uh, can, can Mamati hear me? Hello? Yes, I can. No, Mama T has been very awesome. I mean, oh. I mean, she always surface to uh, various ceremonies, you know, to, you know, items on how we can run our ceremonies better. Okay. It's, been very, it's been very awesome. So we appreciate you, Mama T. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, team. Thank you, team. All right, one more kudos before we start taking questions. Yeah, my kudos is to Fumi for being on speed dial all the time. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Fumi. 
one kudos to, uh, kudos to people actually from me. Uh, kudos to Mama T. She is uh, my speed dog when I'm like on the block. And uh, kudos to Irewa Miri as well. She also helped, you know, under regain my confidence back up again. So kudos to you two guys as well. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And, uh, and then lastly, I want to say kudos to, first and foremost, Coach Femi and Coach Fumi, as well as Mama T, and the most importantly, Luku J. Pompey. He has always been there for me. Uh, he's always making sure uh, I'm going to reach my goals. So I really thank you guys on this platform. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Great, great, great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, do we have more kudos on their questions? Question now. All right, hold on. Going to I, thank have, you. I, I have to give kudos, kudos to someone. Please All right, go ahead. One more. That's Nobody's going to thank me. Okay. Uh, I want to give kudos to Taiwo. I want to give kudos to the coaches, and I want to give kudos to Taiwo, especially because it's been very, very helpful. Very, very helpful. No, all, all our coaches are messiah on this platform. God bless them all. Thank you, guys. So for this document, actually, you can save it. So you just export to PDF or you export to Excel and you get to just save this document. I think that's why I like it. It just helps you save it. So you have your retro documents in one place. So we've come to the end of our retrospective simulation for today. We hope you did enjoy it. And now we're opening up for questions. <laughs>